Good evening. A North Battleford man has been charged with several offenses related to a sexual assault. Now, RCMP say the 37-year-old man has been charged with sexual assault, assault causing bodily harm, forcible confinement, and wearing a disguise with intent to commit an offense. Now, police say the victim and the accused do know each other. The name of the accused has not been released in order to protect the victim. He appeared in North Balford Provincial Court yesterday and was released by the court with several conditions. 24-year-old man is facing charges after an attempted robbery yesterday in the area of 70th Avenue and 44th Street right here in the border city. Police say the man walked into the business wearing a disguise and allegedly demanded money from the till. Now, no weapon was drawn and there were no reported injuries. The man ran away from the scene without any money. Now, according to the RCMP, the 24-year-old has no fixed address and is being held in custody until his court hearing. Now, his name is not being released at this time and neither is the business. While well, it's election day here in the border city, residents will choose who will become the next mayor as well as the seventh board member of the Lloydminster Catholic School Board. And if you haven't voted yet, there's still time. Now, for everyone living in the city north of 44th Street, your voting station is the Anglican Church Hall at 4709 49th Street. Now, the Service Sports Center is catering to those that live south of 44th. To vote, you must have lived in the city for the last six months and have a valid form of photo ID. Now, polls will close at 8 p.m. and tune in tonight to New Cap News, where we will have the latest on the election results. Well, if you're a frequent customer of the Lloydminster Post Office, you're going to notice some changes over the next few months. Canada Post is remodeling its post offices across the country in order to save some cash. Kim Smith tells us how you might be affected. Why would you do this? Why would you turn away business when you're trying to run a business? Letter carrier and president of the local postal union, Luke Barron, is concerned about changes coming to the Lloydminster Post Office. He says there's no need for downsizing. Especially in a place like Lloydminster that's just growing year after year after year. We have more residents, we have more businesses. Canada Post is planning on revamping the post office so products will now be behind the counter. People will still get the same services. Uh, a lot of the products will be in the back. So uh, when our employees are working and there's no customers coming in, they can do other things in the back without display stuff being unattended. For a company with a troubled business model, Canada Post says the cost-cutting measure makes sense. Less and less people are coming into our facilities uh, to buy the products. Uh, we know that the, the letter mail is in a steep decline. But the Postal Union says that's not the case for all offices. Luke Barron says the one in Lloydminster is very busy. We get lineups out to the door on a regular basis and cutting that window of opportunity to actually be served by somebody in half is going to make those lineups a lot longer. This is the postcard that was sent to some homes and businesses in Lloydminster from the union showing what their post office might look like if it's downsized. All the businesses are putting their best effort in to make downtown be a nice place to come and walk around and then everywhere else around us is growing and yet the post office is going to be shrinking. Canada Post says no employees will be losing their jobs over this, but they might be asked to change positions. There may be some, some um, less requirement for staff, uh, but they'll be uh, given other jobs within our company. The new look will take effect within the next few months. Kim Smith, Newcap News. The Border City Petting Zoo is asking for the public's help in locating a stolen baby lemur. The incident happened yesterday when the owners loved to do errands in the city. And as Stanislaw reports. I was up several times in the middle of the night to come see if, uh, if uh, it had returned or, or uh, any signs of, of, uh, of anything. It's a hectic and stressful time for the Sauvets as they search for the zoo's six-month-old baby lemur. We left to pick up some monkey food actually uh, around 2 o'clock and uh, we returned about uh, four, about 3.45 and noticed that somebody had uh, come onto the premises. The Sauvets were working on the fence of the lemur enclosure at the time and before they left they secured the door and the gate inside but did not lock it. When they came back the door was swung wide open and the baby lemur was nowhere to be found. A screwdriver was found inside the cage and the second lemur was discovered roaming nearby. No other animal enclosure was broken into. The two lemurs were acquired earlier this year. 
Saskatchewan's Ministry of Environment says it's illegal to own an exotic animal without a proper license. Under the Wildlife Act, the fine may be up to $100,000. However, as this is an incidence where uh, theft has taken place, it is probably more properly dealt with um, by the RCMP under their mandate under the Criminal Code of Canada. The owners are urgently asking whoever took the lemur to return it back to the zoo as it needs constant care. They're companion animals, so they, they need, need, need another, another one of their own kind to be with them all the time. Anna Stanislau, Newcap News. All right, of course, if you have any information yeah. on this case, you're asked to contact Lloyd, Mr. RCMP at 306-825-6350. So very unfortunate, but very unusual theft to go in and take a <sighs> lemur. So definitely want to reunite her with her sister. So you know yeah. her sister is going to feel the effects of this as well. Yeah.